Fam, how this message finds you all well and great spirits. Well, today is a great day. We're gonna do is we're gonna go check out a new car. That's right. We're trying to get a new car because obviously we can't keep putting the black mama back and forth. Too frustrating to go back drag mode, stock mode, drag mode, stock mode, even though we keep it staying mode. So we're gonna take the family car out. We're gonna go meet up and we're gonna find a uh a car that we can daily and drive around. So stay tuned. It looks a lot cleaner than what I remember. I'm you, so sorry. No, dude, you're good, dude. Dude, I'm on What's your up? time. What's up, baby? What's up, buddy? Dude. Let me stick it to a car wash real quick. No, it looks great, man. I'm excited. But yes, we're bringing a new edge back to the channel. If you guys don't know or recall, we had the Brown Mamba, and the story goes the new edge was my very first Mustang in high school. So now we had to pick another one up. This could be short term, could be long term, we don't know. We're gonna have some fun with it. This would be kind of the daily setup for a little bit. And, uh, you know, in between the mama getting worked on and doing things, we're gonna be able to take this out. Looks clean in the white. So, very nice setup. But there it is. Over in the front, Q01, Q01, uh, K member, control arms. Um, the rear has been done, 31 spline, standard axles, um, 35 stoke converter, I think it's a 38 stoke converter. Okay. And a trans. So um, it's, we could take it to the strip? Yes, we can. Okay. And cool. uh, full back of sauce. Um, what else? MSD coils. Yeah. What else? It looks. Upper and lower control arms are this fully adjustable um, frame. Frame rail. Okay, cool. Frame connectors. Um, transmission. Um. All right. Well, I guess at this point we take the keys, bro. There you go. Uh oh. Thank you so <laughs> much. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll have some fun with it. Well, guys, here it is the new and improved White Mamba. We're going to test this new, new edge out, see what she does. A little burnout. Maybe a donut action, baptizer by fire. Like Mickey's. I can hear the converter. These things stole. Oh, there's a the converter so I can die in Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's like it's not like uh it's like a lower power. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> Don't turn to the left, turn to the right, because it's a crazy noise coming out of this. <laughs> SLP. He's getting a little exhaust rev. Alright, bro. I'm tired. Yeah, go rest. Now that he had to show off. See, Ty got a cool new edge. This is cool, too. Ha, ha, ha. 
him. Pretty bad oxidation there, so we're gonna swap them both out. Something more sinister, so. So what's up guys? I didn't ever get a chance to give you guys a driving review of the new car because it was a crazy day yesterday and I actually felt a little under the weather, so I didn't get a chance to really do that, but I wanted to give you guys that explanation of the car, why we got it, what we what we did for you guys. it. Guys was we have new merch that's right this is the staying mode uh new merch we have this actually came from my dude jeff ashton who was making t-shirts last year long story short he, he made his really cool design uh it says staying mode here we have the, the 2018 it never ends so i appreciate that what's cool and solid about this hoodie is we'll wear it in the drag strip it's very comfortable but i like the back pretty much the most as you can see the back i'll show you guys in a second here Ooh, that's a bad angle hold on let me try this um you know, I've got a cameraman right now, so. No, the help, yeah. So, the back is cool. Um, we appreciate you guys pick these up. These really help the channel out. Uh, link in the description. Also on the Teespring store. Uh, real clean, real subtle, you know. We'll have, we also have t-shirts like this. Maybe we'll get different colors. Just a big fan of that. So, definitely support the channel. Really appreciate if you do that. But anyways, let's jump in the car. Let's get a cold start. Let's see how she sounds. Okay, so now the chance we got to, we're driving around now, and I wanted to talk about the fact that I think the the market is good right now to buy these new wedges low and sell high because as you guys have seen or may know, uh, the Fox Body market is really strong right now. I know a few friends who have, especially the notchbacks, have bought them, uh, refurbished them uh, nicely, and kind of gotten a good market, a good profit for them. Because what hap what's happening is, besides the obvious buyer, the young teenager to you know, early 20 year old who's gonna want this car because Mustang. Uh, what's happening is a lot of guys in their 30s, like my age, besides spending all that money on a brand new Mustang, 50,000, 60,000, now that you do have hundreds over 100,000, you know, it's fun to have a unique car, a unique build, a unique setup. So you buy a car like this, you buy a new Edge, you buy a Fox Body, you have the paint color you want, you put the power plant you want in there, you have the shop you want to put it together. These cars are known, they know how to be fixed, they know how to be made, and you have something unique that you can be proud of that you won't see a copycat of, right? Uh, we wanna all be uh, individuals and, and, and be unique, but when you see the same black Mustang, like I had a 2018, as soon as I saw another black Mustang, I was like, oh, what a copycat. So like, we had to change it up. But when you buy these Mustangs cheaper, you have a project that still, it, the car still runs, and you get you you have a vision to see what you want to do. You there's a lot more information out there. Uh, the forums are more robust. There's more parts available. They're proven. Uh, there's a, there's communities all over the place. Uh, there's new edge communities, Fox Body communities. Um, so what's happening is I know a lot of guys are putting the modern Coyotes in these new edges. They're light. Even the new uh, uh, dashes are going in these cars. So for the money, would you spend forty fifty thousand dollars for? just a uh, brand new Mustang from the factory, and you can have your own custom Mustang paint, you know, performance, everything you want, and that's why it's, a, it's such a good uh, flip job for a lot of people in my age range, or if you're entry level coming into the game, you want a Mustang, you don't wanna, you know, get a new Camry or Corolla, uh, you have five, six, seven thousand dollars, you can get a car like this, which is something that I'm gonna do is make it nice, make it clean, make it usable, and buy it. So basically what I'll do is I'll buy the car two, 3,000, do some mods on it, do some videos on it, and then find the right buyer for it. Uh, believe it or not, the automatics uh, are very much readily available because no kid wants to drive automatic. But what's happening is the automatics are good for guys who either wanna just get rid of the whole thing and start over, or they just want a nice Mustang to commute for. I mean, I sold the Brown Mamba, we bought it for $2,000. We sell it for well over double what we paid for it. Well over, almost quadruple what we paid for it. So that was that got me thinking, and then when I am, you know, we're waiting for the GT500, and the Mamba is getting boosted eventually, I said, you know, we need some tra transportation. And I thought to myself, I could go get a truck, I could go lease a regular family car, Let's get another uh, new edge for cheap. Let's have fun with it. Let's uh, do some small videos with it and sell it. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, once a month, 
we're gonna prop or once every two months we'll probably buy a new project uh have fun with it sell it and, and go from there i am anxious anxious to do after we do this car uh to uh look into the uh fox uh, fox body anyways big news we have a garage coming finally the mamba the dd500 we're gonna have a place for them to sleep at night i'm super excited for that so stay tuned for that that's finally happening the reason it took so long was because we had to wait for it to be built because it had to match the aesthetic of the house so that's coming we'll eventually do podcasts in there we'll rekindle that up so a lot of things on the horizon a lot of things are happening so fun uh, I'm, I'm anxious because with this new kind of venture of buying cheap old mustangs and then flipping them there's a little bit of a hunt to it you know it's like an American pickers aspect to it where we gotta look and find, you know, one of the things with these new wedges, you wanna make sure there's no rust on the strut towers. <clears throat> there's certain things you wanna look for. <laughs> Excuse me. But, anyways, that's the story. Stay tuned. Let me know what you think in this comment below. I know you're triggered by the automatic, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna get rid of it and then stay tuned because we are looking at getting things like a Fox body as well. So, let's see what happens. Please check out the merch. Link down below, link in the description. It helps me out. My sister still designing the GT500 merch. We have a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. A lot of fun happening. As you guys know, it never ends. Peace.